Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa, and I'm back on the porch for more Porch Time Story Time, and today I have a story for you called Looking for Smile by Ellen Tarlow, and the pictures are by Lauren Stringer. There's the front picture, Looking for Smile by Ellen Tarlow, pictures by Lauren Stringer. Oh, here we go, look at this. Bear and Smile were always together. <sighs> In the morning, Bear woke up and stretched out wide across his bed. Smile woke up too and stretched out wide across Bear's face. Good morning, said Bear. Bear and Smile liked all of the same things. Bear liked nuts and berries best for breakfast. That's what Smile liked best too, and they shared them together perfectly. It took Smile a few minutes to catch up, longer if it was extra cold, but then they splashed, ooh, whoops, that page stuck together. Hold on, let me go back. So there they were having their breakfast. It's a new book, so the pages are still kind of sticking. They're having their breakfast. Here we go. Together, they went to the most wonderful places. Waterfall, cried Bear as he jumped in. Now it's going to take Smile longer to catch up, right? Because the water might be super cold. It took Smile a few minutes to catch up, longer if the water was extra cold. But then they splashed and they played together for hours. Bear and Smile loved adventures as long as they weren't too scary. They would do almost anything for honey, though Smile usually waited until the bees were out of sight. Always together, Bear and Smile. Then, one morning, Smile didn't come. Smile, Bear called. It's time to wake up. He waited. Smile, it's time for breakfast. But Smile didn't come for breakfast. And Bear noticed that the nuts and berries didn't taste as good without his friend. Bear looked under the bed. And he looked in the closet. And he opened the door and he said, Smile, where are you? Hello, Bear, said Rabbit. What's the matter? You look different. I lost Smile, said Bear. Oh, dear, said Rabbit. Did you look in all of your favorite places? Oh, said Bear. That's good thinking. So he ran to the waterfall. Smile, he said, it's me, Bear. And he jumped in and he splashed the way that Smile liked best. But Smile did not come to splash. Bear looked up, he looked down, he looked inside, and he looked outside. I know, said Bear at last. Smile always wants honey. Bear got a pawful as he sat beneath the tree and ate, but Smile didn't come to take a bite. Bear sighed. The day was gray and the woods seemed empty. What's wrong, Bear? asked a voice. It was Bird. I lost my smile, said Bear. Oh, poor Bear, said Bird, and she sat down right next to her friend. And the two sat, not saying a word. Then Bird began to swing, sing quietly. Do you see the music coming out of her mouth? Tweet, 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 tweet. And then Bird, excuse me, and then Bear began to hum. Hum, 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 hum. Tweet, 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 tweet. Together they sang and hummed and looked at the swirling leaves. 
Then Bear felt something deep inside of him. It rose and rose and rose. And then suddenly there was Smile. Hello, said Bear. I missed you. And what did Smile do then? Smile smiled. I hope you like that one. Looking for Smile. I'm Miss Lisa, and that's all for Porch Time Story Time today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.